guys welcome to my channel welcome to eta this is the channel whereby we bring you the best in maths physics and chemistry now guys if you have not yet subscribed if you're on youtube please do so if you have not followed me on tiktok please do so so guys i'm gonna be teaching you guys uh physics paper one since you guys are writing on friday so I don't want to waste much of your time. Let us start with the question. <clears throat> I'm going to start from question two. I'm also going to do question one, but later on. Um, crate P of a mass 1.25 is connected to another crate Q of mass two by a light in extensible string. The two crates are placed on a rough horizontal surface. A constant force F of a magnitude 7.5 Newton acting at an angle theta to the horizontal is applied on crate Q. As shown in the diagram below, the crate accelerates at 0 0.1 meters per second square to the right. So the system is going in this direction to the right. All right, crate P, experiences a constant friction, frictional force of um, 1.8 newtons. Create Q experiences a constant frictional force of 2.2 uh, uh, newtons. So without waste of time, uh, question one, state Newton's second law of motion. Now Newton's, Newton's second law of motion describes the relationship between force, mass, and acceleration. But um, we, you must always bear in mind this equation. This is how you will answer Newton's law properly. However, you have to describe acceleration because that is the focal point. We are focusing on acceleration. What happens when the body starts to accelerate, moving from Newton's law? Because Newton's law talks about constant velocity. All right. Now, Newton's second law says that acceleration is directly Proportional to the applied uh sorry to to the net force to the net force and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. Okay, done with question one. Question two, draw a labeled free body diagram for create P. Now we're only gonna focus on create P. So on crate P, what we know is that there is the following four uh, forces. This is the free body diagram. You have to draw a dot and forces that are acting on the object. The first force that is obvious is the force of gravity. So the force of gravity, which is the weight, so whenever there's a weight, there's a normal force. Action, reaction, pairs. Whenever there's a force acting on an object, there's a reaction force. That reaction is the normal force. Now, we are told that there's friction. And because the system is moving to the right, your friction will oppose the motion. It will be moving to the left. And 
we also have a rope, and that rope is your tension. Does it? Does it? This is question 2.2. .2. Um, all right, 2.3, calculate the magnitude of the tension in the string. 2.2.2.2 point one all right this is two point three two point three point one what we know is that if we choose because we are dealing with vectors we are saying that positive direction is is the direction towards the right all right so if that is the case what we know is that um, tension, tension minus tension, or, or let me just say tension plus um, friction will give us the resultant force. And the resultant force equals MA. Newton's second law. All right. Do we know the tension force? No, we don't. Therefore, tension is given by um, ten tension. Um, therefore, tension minus do we know the value of friction? Yes, we were told the friction was, if we can remember very well, frictional force is 1.8, 1 1.8, 1 1.8. 1 .8 equals mass times acceleration. We have been given the mass. The mass of the crate is 1.25, 1, 1.25 times the acceleration of the system is given by 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. All right. I think some of you don't understand why uh, I, I've put a negative <clears throat> on this one. Uh, the friction has a magnitude, but it is acting in a negative direction. Therefore, it will be a plus minus 1.8. Therefore, our tension will be, the answer will be, let me get my calculator. Look at my calculator and see what my tension will be. And so 1.25, 1.25 times comma one. Even by One point eight. When it goes to the other side, it will be positive. So this will be one point eight plus uh, zero point one two five, which will give us um one point nine two five. All right. Now, the second question says, what is the angle, angle theta? Now, in order for us to get angle theta, we can see that the angle theta is attached to uh, Q, to object Q. Now, we have to attend to object Q. Now, 
3.2. Um, the free body diagram is like that. We have your normal, we have the weight, we have the friction, we also have the tension. Okay, and on this side, we have um, we have the components, we have two components. We have that component of the applied force, which is parallel. And the one which is perpendicular. Perpendicular. Now, according to the laws of vectors, we will disregard these forces and focus on these forces, this magnitude, these forces. So what I what we know is that the the parallel component the parallel component uh what we know is that the parallel component plus the tension plus friction will give us the acceleration of create q okay now what we know is that um we have the mass right so if we have the mass it means um if we have the mass uh we have the tension as well and we also have the friction however uh this component in order to get this component the parallel component what we know is that we have to multiply the applied force times the cos of theta uh, plus, because the tension is in a negative direction, it's gonna be plus minus, uh, minus one po point, nine how much was it it was 1.925 then plus friction as well it is minus 2.2 .2. let me verify and see if that is the right amount yes it is so this will give us your mass is, let me check again the mass. Now the mass is two and the acceleration of the system was given as 0 0.1. Okay, the mass is two times the acceleration is 0 0.1. Now, Your, your force is given by, this value is given by 7.5, 7.5. It is given guys, if you're wondering where I got this 7.5 from, <clears throat> that's the value of the applied force. So, 7.5 cos of theta is equals to, on the other side, we have, this will be 0 0.2 plus, plus um, 1.925 plus, Two point uh two point two 
this will give us, let me use my calculator quickly. Comma two plus one point nine two five plus two point two, it will give us four point three two five. Now seven point five. Okay, and seven point five cos of theta is given by four. Point three two five. Now, cos of theta is given by, I'm going to divide 4.325 by 7.5. Okay, I'm going to my calculator and there we go. So, the answer that I got, the answer that I got was uh, cos of theta is given by 0 0.576. And uh, if you go to your calculator, you'll find out that theta is given by, let me calculate. Cos of 0 0.577. Uh, cos. Yeah, so according to the calculator, the angle that we got, it is 0. It is 54.74, 54.74 degrees. Now guys, thanks. Thank you uh, for watching all the segments of my lesson. I hope you guys are going to write well on Friday. So if you have not yet subscribed, guys, please go and subscribe and also follow for more that I'm going to give to you guys. And guys, good luck for your exams and don't panic. We have all been there and I wish you all the best. If you have any question, don't hesitate to um, send me a, a text or you can uh, uh, request for my email. I will give it to you. Now, guys, thank you so much. Enjoy the exams.